Today we're going to teach you about an incredible group called Mile High Workshop and they help people get back on their feet and teach them really sustainable skills, which is so important. Now, they're production with purpose and today we're going to learn more about their mission and how we can get involved in help. And Danny had a chance to sit down with their executive director, Andy Magel. Take a look. Well, Andy, thank you so much for joining us today on Colorado and Company. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Of course. Well, we want to start off by talking to you about Mile High Workshop. So what exactly does Mile High Workshop do for participants and, of course, the Colorado community? Yeah, we work with folks who are transitioning from prison, recovering from addictions and homelessness. We help them learn job skills, get back on their feet and back in the workforce. That's amazing. So, I mean, with everything going on with COVID-19 right now, do you guys feel like you're doing everything pretty much uh, the same as you normally are or are things a little bit different? Well, they're definitely different. Yeah, we're taking precautions. Um, but this week, actually, we were able to bring our full team back. We were really fortunate to not have to lay anybody off during all this. And we've been able to provide quite a bit of support um, to our program participants. And uh, we're just kind of finally getting our feet back under us, which feels really good. Excellent. Definitely. It sounds like you guys are doing a lot with masks right now, which obviously we know that's uh, pretty big in today's yeah. day and age. Uh, so tell us a little bit about some of those masks that you're sewing and donating. Yeah, we never really thought that face masks were going to be a thing for us. But when everything happened initially, we happened to have uh, like 4,600 masks and 95 masks that we donated to the city of Denver pretty much right away. And then we also do some sewing work. And so we decided to repurpose our sewing shop into a face mask shop. So we've actually been sewing cloth face masks for a few months now. And we've been selling some to support the organization and donating a lot of others to other nonprofits in the community. Wow, that's incredible. So, you know, for me or for the average person watching at home, how can we buy one of your masks? Yeah, so if you want to buy a lot of them, kind of a contract relationship, you can find them on our website, which is milehighworkshop.org. Or if you just want to buy one for yourself or a couple for your friends and family, you can go to a website we have called secondchanceseries.com. Uh, and that's where we're selling our masks individually. Excellent. And uh, I hear that you might have one of those masks. Can we see that? I do. Okay. Yeah, of course. I took it off for the interview because I didn't think uh, it would work real well. But these are our face masks. They have um, ties and a little metal band there. Um, and they're great. We've all been wearing them around the shop for months now. And um, we've been pretty happy with them. And you guys work, too, with a few other pretty well-known companies. Um, what, who else do you work with? We do, yeah. One of our uh, favorite customers is a company called Kong. Uh, you probably recognize these dog toys. Um, they're based up in gold, and our job is to QC, package, palletize um, Kongs. So we do around 30,000 of these a month, and that's a really great partner of ours. Uh, we also work with a local pillow company called Everpillow. We sew and stuff and ship their product. Um, and then we work with Charlotte's Web, which is a really awesome Colorado-based uh, hemp extract company, as well as other partners, uh, both locally and nationally. Excellent. I'm so happy I didn't have my dog up here when you were showing us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> that one doesn't have any peanut butter in it. So it's oh, like, bummer. She yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally. Well, too fast too, Andy. Just wanted to see how else we can help Mile High Workshop. Are there other ways that we can help to donate? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we do accept donations. We earn revenue to support the program, but we also accept donations on our website. And we're also, as we kind of get back on our feet, we're looking for you know a handful of new business partners. So uh, businesses who have work that they could contract out to us, uh, we're very much looking for opportunities like that, which is what creates the job and training opportunities for our, our participants. Excellent. Andy, thank you so much for taking the time and for everything that you're doing uh, right now during the COVID-19 pandemic and what you do anyway. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. Thanks so much for having me. Mile High Workshops puts people to work and helps businesses grow. It's production with purpose. You can support the workshop by donating or partnering with them. Go to milehighworkshop.org to learn more and purchase masks if you need them as well.